Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Phone Arena with uh, the Samsung Wave 3. It's uh, the newest top dock of Samsung's own battery plating system. It uh, sports its newest version, Bada 2.0, a single core Snapdragon S2 processor pumped up to 1.4 GHz and a 4 inch Super AMOLED display. As you can see, it's just a modest upgrade from the Wave 2 since with uh, a slightly faster processor and a slightly bigger screen. The phone uh, has a pretty solid outer appearance that's in line with uh, all the high-end Wave handsets so far. It is slim at 0 0.39 inches, 9.9 millimeters, with reasonable 4.3 ounces of heft, 122 grams, despite the largely metal chassis that you can see here. It also has uh, all the curves in the right places, which uh, make it comfortable to hold both this power lock key on the right and the volume rocker on the left are very easy to find and press. Our only gripe with the design is that uh, the phone is a tad on the white side and that makes it a bit uncomfortable to operate with one hand if you have uh, smaller hands. The 4 inch Super AMOLED screen seems like taken directly from last year's uh, Galaxy S editions. It has the same 480 by 800 pixels of resolution very wide viewing angles, gaudy colors and almost infinite contrasts as we're accustomed to see with uh, AMOLED displays. Unfortunately, it still sports these uh, cold colors, which again we usually associate with Super AMOLEDs and uh, the Pentile Matrix, which places it a level below the Super AMOLED Plus display on the Samsung Galaxy S2, for example. Also, it could be a tad brighter which uh, would help with sunlight legibility outside. Half of this nice and solid metal chassis slides up when you push this little thin button here and reveals the SIM card slot and the micro SD card slots and you can insert the cards even without removing the battery although you have to remove it to take them out. It just uh, is half of the metal shell sliding up on rails then you can just push it back and it snaps into place. One of the coolest features in the third version of the Samsung high-end battery handset and a very easy way to access the battery compartment. Now let's have a look at uh, Bada 2.0 as we find it on the Samsung Wave 3. The lock screen of Bada 2.0 now shows uh, the weather widget and message notifications. It's an active lock screen. On the farthest left home screen, you can place a bunch of widgets in a scrollable list like that called Live Panel, with the only locked one being uh, the widget for your favorite contacts down here. You can rearrange them, you can turn them off at will with these cool radio buttons and uh, basically do whatever you want with them. That's why they're called uh, the Live Panels. And overall, Bada 2.0 looks way more polished in terms of uh, iconography than uh, its predecessor to in terms of fonts as well as it should be. We have a bunch of transitional animations and transparency, which are ubiquitous now, bringing more pleasant look to Samsung's homemade mobile operating system. Almost every menu and uh, the apps have been updated for better visuals as well more defined, more polished from uh, these sliding switches here that turn on and off different functions like that to the rounded buttons within the apps everything uh, just looks better and we also have a new contrasting color scheme that has taken over as you can see Plus, uh, the good eye candy draws well without any hiccups, as you see. And uh, that should be the norm with a 1.4 GHz uh, processor to boot. The touchscreen is also very responsive with uh, no lack whatsoever following your finger movements. There is uh, multitasking now, hold down the home key and uh, you get a list of the running apps including third-party applications between each which uh, you can toggle or you can kill them all together at once if you feel like. In short, TouchWiz over Bada 2.0 now gets to look a lot like the one on Android. 
sans the live wallpaper. The email app supports automatic configuration for the most uh, popular online services, which you can set up without manually entering all the details. You can also adjust fonts, for example, when you start typing to such an extent, uh, this app allows you configuration. So you can put a different font style, you can type with a different color, and so on and so forth. Pretty handy. The virtual keyboard employs more rounded buttons now with extra space between them, which uh, eases the process of typing correctly, regardless if you're in portrait or in uh, landscape mode like now. Pretty easy to type on this keyboard. Unfortunately, Bada 2.0 still doesn't support desktop Adobe Flash. This uh, Dolphin 3.0 browser of Samsung, however, has a more polished UI now, plus uh, a new download manager that you can use. And uh, it's a change for the better. Still, text reflow, panning around, zooming also work flawlessly. So the only thing you're likely to miss is uh, full flash support at places. The gallery app has been redesigned completely as well with uh, these cool page turning effects when you switch on the slideshow function and so on. There is, uh, however, no pictures or video editing embedded uh, in the gallery. You can just do basic stuff like rotate or crop the pictures, but not uh, heavy editing as uh, we have on Samsung's Android handsets or previous uh, battery phones, which had integrated uh, this editing function in the interface. You have to download uh, editors from Samsung's App Store if they're not pre-installed uh, on the phone and here they're not. The video player for that matter is very powerful, very rich functionality out of the box. As you can see, you can view the details. You can also adjust settings like um, repeat the video in a loop. It supports subtitles now compared to the previous versions of Bada, or you can share the video via different channels. Really uh, an excellent video player, not to mention the fact that the phone supports DivX X VAD videos right out of the box. Very rich uh, functionality and coupled with this uh, 4-inch Super AMOLED display makes the phone uh, very suitable for watching videos. The music player has also received a nice eye candy boost with a lot of transparencies and this uh, new cool slider as you can see and uh, it has a pretty rich functionality a bunch of equalizer presets you can set and they also work in uh, a loudspeaker mode as you can hear we also have a couple of uh, sound effects again working in loudspeaker mode the loudspeaker by the way is pretty powerful and clear and uh, the phone can pull the lyrics of the song currently played from the internet. Also, you can see the song currently played in the notification bar when you exit the music player. And it is also visible on the active lock screen. So you can uh, control the music player right from here, from the lock screen. The 5 megapixel camera module on the Samsung Wave 3 has some additional scene modes like this here panorama mode or a smile shot which is recognizing uh, faces and smiles of the people you're taking pictures of. It also has a macro focus mode and a couple of uh, additional effects you can apply to your pictures and videos uh, which themselves turned out fine outside with a decent amount of detail, proper exposure and credible color representation. Uh, while the phone showed a pretty good dynamic range, it outlined the boundaries between light and dark places very well. The photos could be a tad sharper and that's it. Outside, uh, inside however, the automatic white balance couldn't lock the colors properly and it was casting cold uh, greenish hues over the pictures, 
Noise was kept in check, but uh, for the sake of blurred details, and uh, the flash did a below average job for illuminating the scene at uh, six feet distance. With the daylight videos, we also didn't encounter any major issues. 720p HD clips were captured with uh, very consistent 30 frames per second, no dropped frames or anything. The videos outside had enough detail, there was uh, no botched color balance, and uh, Wave 3 was quick to adjust exposure when we were panning around with it. Indoor, however, again, as with the stills, uh, quality was inferior. We came across very grainy video capture, which got significantly worse when the light started to go down. This new Samsung flagship uh, Bad OS handset here, the Wave 3, is thin, fairly light, made of uh, quality materials like this brushed metal chassis, which uh, on top of that slides to reveal the battery compartment, which is a pretty handy idea. And uh, the new touch with on Bada 2.0 is an improvement over the previous version in terms of both eye candy and added functionality, but uh, the operating system still doesn't support Adobe Flash and multi-core processors. When we consider, however, the 4.0-inch Super AMOLED display, the good core quality here in the earpiece, and uh, via the microphones, and uh, the vast support of uh, video codecs, including DivX, XPAD, right out of the box, we have to say that uh, the Samsung Wave 3 is indeed the best Bada handset so far. Still, it lacks a dual-core processor, a more resolute display and camera. Yet, uh, at its current price, it is positioned squarely against more advanced phones like the HTC Sensation or the Samsung Galaxy R, both of which have uh, dual-core chips and larger screens. Also, considering the comparative lack of Bada applications, mid-range Android phones like Samsung's own Galaxy W or the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc S with their 1.4 GHz processors and large screens are an easy pick before the Wave 3. On top of it, uh, all they come with lower pricing too, thus removing the advantages of Bada as uh, a poor man's Android, for example. Jokingly said, um, another alternative to the Wave uh, 3 can be the Nokia Lumia 800 with its uh, Decent choice of apps, add the Windows Phone Marketplace, an 8 megapixel camera and the free offline voice navigation, although it is more expensive uh, than the third wave. The Samsung Omnia W also has a 1.4 GHz processor and 5 megapixel camera with LED flash. Uh, it sports a smaller 3.7 inch display, however, at the price comparable to the Wave 3 here. These are all alternatives to the highest end bottle handset so far. This was a video review of the Samsung Wave 3 from Phone Arena. For more information about this and other handsets, you can visit us at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.